Well, first of all, I'd like to thank South Dakota Corn for their sponsorship of, of this game and what it means outside of a, of a basketball game and in raising funds and feeding South Dakota. I think it's, a, it's an, a privilege to be a part of something like that. Secondly, I'd like to thank our fans. Uh, I thought this was a, an opportunity for us to play in front of a, a great fan base. And a lot of them were wearing red, not all of them, but it was there were a lot of uh, Coyote fans who were here, our students were incredible. I think our student section got the place really going before the game even started. Uh, it, so it was it, just a lot of people that created a great energy for us going into this game. You know, with that being said, I thought our young ladies came out and played extremely hard and, and played very um, disciplined, took care of the basketball for the most part, were really good defensively, you know, and, and certainly, you know, we were able to oh. compete in, against a team that is very, very good and a team that has the ability to score it, you know, very efficiently inside, you know, inside the paint and the team that can score it from the arc. So able to kind of slow their offense down, which allowed us, you know, to have an, an opportunity to get going on the offensive end. What was the plan for attacking their defense? Well, ideally, we were trying to do what we do, which is run a motion offense and get the ball inside in different ways or attack from the perimeter or penetrate and with pass penetration, drove penetration and shoot it, you know, kick it out and then offensive rebound. So not like it was anything different really for us, but we were trying to be in an attack mode the entire time. You talk a lot about this team's experience and the attitude. Was there a difference in the way that they prepared for this game than it was in years past? Anything that stood out to you? Well, I think that they, they're they more attentive to how to slow teams down. I think our desire to be a, a really good defensive team and our ability to do it both have grown over the course of time. And certainly, I think that's what gave us an opportunity in this game. You, are, how big was Madison's three to start that game? Because, you know, crowd rock, <coughs> he shoots a three. That, I mean, I don't want to say it's the loudest it was the whole game. That, was, that, that, that crowd erupted right there and just seemed like that really sparked a lot. I thought Madison McKeever played an incredible basketball game. You know, she started obviously by getting an inside out three from Hannah kicked it out and Maddie hit it and it was a great score opportunity. Then she got one in transition pretty quickly after that and scored it at the rim. But I thought defensively Madison McKeever played a, a very, very good basketball game and, and really helped us on the court when she was there. And when she wasn't on the court, we kind of felt that we missed her on the defensive end. Intensely really seem to take away their post. Hannah and, and, and Taylor seem to really, as Aaron said, beat them to spots and really play physical when they're at those spots, not allow the ball to really any opportunities inside really. Well, I thought it was a, it was a game that was physical down low. And yet, you know, both teams are playing that way. I thought it was kind of an anomaly. I don't know how many games we've played in or South Dakota State has played in or how many games in the Summit League probably have. I think there were combined two fouls called in the first quarter. So I thought both teams really trying to attack, space the floor, get the ball inside, you know, but also trying to do it without following each other. With this group at this point in the season, is it more just you're looking to tweak things versus what area specifically that you're looking to improve upon? Or are there areas that you're still looking to improve specifically? Well, we either go back and we'll watch every game as a coaching staff and put together kind of our, our ways that we think we need to continue to improve and how that applies to our next opponent. And so it, it's a matter of continuing to tweak us, our defense, our offense, some looks that we want to get, how do we do a better job, whether it's taking care of the ball, rebounding, why are they getting some of those scenarios. So it is a matter of we've got to continue to get better. It, yes, it's a, it's, we played well, we did, and, and that for that our players – you know, de deserve a lot of credit for how hard they competed and how hard they played. But at the same time, it's one basketball game. We have a lot of season, a lot of conference season left to play. And, and so it's, it's an opportunity for us to look at it and, and, yes, maybe gain some confidence, but also continue to get better. Talking, talking to the players afterwards, they were a little, <coughs> they said they didn't really look at the score much. You really had to focus on each possession. Did you ever look at that score and be like, it's a pretty nice score. That's pretty much, or did you wait till the end too when they were all, well, I thought we were playing well, but at the same time, all I kept thinking is South Dakota State is a very potent offense. And, and every time we missed an assignment, whether it was we didn't guard something the right way, they caught it, they had some space, and they hit, hit a shot. Or there's a loose ball that landed in their hands, they scored it. So all I kept thinking about is we've got to find ways to slow down their offense. And they kept throwing different looks and we need to continue to adjust and so I it, it is it's bad for, for us it was a matter of competing throughout the course of the game. I know this will obviously be different the next time every game will be different and there's always that specter of a possible third one 
But is it nice for this group to come out and really kind of set a tone and maybe for the, hopefully in your case, for the series this year, punch in the mouth, being the veteran team expected to win and against a younger team like that to kind of set a tone hopefully for the rest of the season? Well, I thought what our young ladies did a good job of is, you know, when the, the game was up in the air, you know, so we, we left um, Fargo on Thursday night. We weren't planning on leaving and driving and getting in late. We got in late. We're getting ready to prep on Friday because it's a Saturday game, you know, and then as we're in film, we still don't exactly know what the status of the game is going to be. And I thought, thought our, our young ladies did a great job of just kind of approaching it with a very, you know, even keel. You know, the, we didn't really know what to expect, but at the same time, we knew, knew we needed to be prepared. And so I thought they've just attacked this with, you know, with a, the understanding that the process is really important for us. And, and I thought that's how they played the game. When did you find out Friday that the game had been postponed? And then how did you use Saturday to prepare? Right. Well, Friday we found out probably when we were, probably mid afternoon when we were finished with film when the game was going to be. And then, really had kind of tweak a little bit of the practice plan and um, didn't do really do a whole lot on Friday after getting back late and then and playing the night before. Did a little bit um, to get us moving again and kind of work the kinks out and go through some technical sides of things offensively and defensively for us. And then Saturday got after it and, and really tried to prep us uh, aggressively for a very good South Dakota State team. You mentioned after that North Dakota State team, teams have been throwing some different defensive looks at you, that sort of thing, Jesse. Did you see a lot of that today from South Dakota State? Well, I thought what they were trying to do is, again, be physical with us inside, not allow us to catch it you know, on the block very easily. I thought their perimeter kids are really good at getting out and getting ball pressure and denying. And it felt kind of clogged up at, at times, although they did a good job of, of really trying to limit some of the opportunities that we were looking for. They didn't really change defenses like we've seen with some other teams, though. They only shot 17% from the three. Meanwhile, you guys shot 50%. Was that a major difference in this one, just the ability to shoot the ball from deep? Well, and I think we we hit a couple of those late, but we were hit. We hit one right at the beginning of the game, obviously with Madison McKeever, and we continued. I think at times we got we maybe shot a little bit too early in possessions and tried to adjust that. Got some in when we got in rhythm shots, we were we shot the ball pretty well. I, I thought early on, I thought we did a good job of trying to limit their opportunities to shoot it from the arc, but maybe by the the end of the first quarter and into the second quarter, I didn't think we did as good of job of, of getting out to kids with the same urgency awareness. And some of that was how they broke us down. You know, they, they got the ball inside and started to move it and that put us in some pretty tough spots on who to go out, who to recover to, because they've got four kids on the perimeter that can shoot it, they can all drive it. So that made it pretty tough for us. But I thought there were some opportunities that we might go back and film and say, boy, we got lucky because they missed this one or they missed that one. And I thought that kind of happened to us early, but we'll take it because that's the game of basketball that happens at times. And you know, certainly um, we're the same way. We've got to make sure that we're getting good in rhythm shots and flying to the offensive glass to the best of our ability. Since that loss to South Carolina in, in conference play, now 6-0, and average margin victory in, in the 30s. Has something clicked since then that has allowed this team to win so dominantly over now a six-game stretch? Well, I think, our, again, it's pretty simple for, for our young ladies in terms of I think they really lock into the next opponent and try to figure out what it is that we need to do to try to to slow them down to the best of our ability. Because offensively, we'd like to believe our offense is going to make shots and we're going to be efficient regardless. But that's not always the case. And so we need to make sure that we're taking care of things defensively. And I think that this crew has has really done that. I don't know that we were, we certainly weren't as good defensively at the beginning of the year as we have been lately. And so it's something that we're going to continue to work on and hopefully continue to get better at.